may be seated. We come to that point in our order of worship where we lift up uh, our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings. And as we come together today, we continue to give thanks for uh, Beth Hagen and the fact that she is doing well and she's well on the road to recovery now. And she got to uh, watch our cantata last night via, was it Skype or FaceTime or, or FaceTime? So we were burning the airwaves up with the... Uh, with, with uh, the cantata so Beth was able to see it and we're just so glad that she continues to recover uh, looking at her coming back into the community sometime in the summer months so uh, let's rejoice with that what other things do we need to lift up and give thanks for or that we need to share with one another you've got one Bill I want to tell you that two of my favorite ladies are in church this morning uh, Jean Hendrick and Judy Cole all right. What else do we need to rejoice over? People out of joy. Okay. Today, at the U.S. Naval Academy, Colston is being baptized. Oh, oh all right. So I'm very proud. He did not get a chance to be baptized with his group here at church. That was the time he took his his confirmation lessons yeah. or whatever it was but then we had so many different things as many of you know that happened that he kind of got by the wayside so i'm real thrilled that he's decided to do that today on easter sunday at the u.s naval academy chapel all right what else christy Um, I just wanted to give a praise and a thank you to everybody who helped with the Easter egg hunt last Sunday. Uh, we had about 25, 26 kids and about that many adults uh, that came out. It was a bit chilly and windy outside, but we hid eggs outside and came back in for some fellowship and, uh, and a snack and everything. And I think everybody had a really good time. So thank you to everybody who donated um, cookies or candy or eggs or whatever you contributed. If you were here as a chaperone, it's greatly appreciated. And that was a great service that we did for the children. Are there others down here? Oh, Debbie, go ahead. Oh, gosh. Wait, who? Go with Dottie, then. <laughs> I speak for Ben, too. But ben and I are very pleased to have all of our family here today, except for John Michael, and he's on his way somewhere from Mississippi. All right. Debbie? Um, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for, you know, I know you all have been continuing to pray for my dad. They had the court date this week, and so that's put behind him. So if you can cle please keep praying for him that he will not only physically heal, but um, also mentally heal. He's not driving yet, and so um, that's kind of put a burden on him. So if you could please keep them in your prayers, I'd appreciate it, and thank you for all your prayers so far. And secondly, please keep Anna Fields in your prayers. She's the eighth grader that has the, the tumor in her sinuses. Are there other things? Oh, Cindy? Um, I'd like to request prayer um, for two people that I work with at my office at the Department of Mines, Minerals, and Energy. We have two ladies that are currently have been diagnosed with cancer. And... Um, one of them has already previously had one cancer surgery. Now she's facing another one, Janet Yates. And the second one is Donna McFadden. She's from Coburn, Virginia. And uh, her seems pretty severe, so please remember them in prayer. Janet Yates and Donna McFadden. What else? Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> most gracious and most holy God we come into your presence on this Easter Sunday it's been a, a busy week for a lot of us it's been a, a week with kids off school it's been a week of getting ready for family to come in so that we can celebrate today. It's, been a, it's just been a week with so many things going on. 
And yet it's been a week in which we still needed you. We've still needed your guidance. We've still needed your love. We've still needed your, your presence in our life. And, and sometimes in the busyness we forget that. But we know that you don't forget us. And so we are grateful for all the ways that you have been with us this week, the, the way that you have guided our steps, the way that you have helped us with the words we need to say, the way that you have brought us healing in our lives, the way that you have simply poured your love out upon us when we needed it the most. And so on this day, we thank you. We thank you especially for your great might and power and all that you have done through your Son, Jesus Christ, who on this day we celebrate is victor over all things, even death itself, because on this day we say that he rose. He rose, he rose, he rose, most gracious God. We can't understand what all that means. We don't understand the power of resurrection. We don't understand how you can take and, 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 and conquer death itself, but we know that you have done it. And we are so grateful. We are so humbled in, the, in your presence to know that you have indeed blessed us in ways that we can't imagine that you have loved us when we have felt so unloving. So pour your spirit out upon us now, Lord. Let us feel Christ's presence. Let us know that indeed he is risen and that he is in our midst today and that he is in our hearts. And let us go forth from this place sharing that bountiful love with all that we encounter. We ask this in the name of Christ that has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.